Hi viewers, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to discuss the index and match for complex lookup problem. For example, in the previous example that I shared, if you haven't watched that video, so you can see the link in the description of this video. And that one, we had only one column and that was a little bit easy. And the header of the column was also simple sales and profit. Now, what if we have this type of data where we have merged two rows or columns and here we have the target sales and profit and actual sales and profit. And we want a dashboard or a search area where if I select target or actual from this drop down and then here if I select sales or profit from this drop down, so I should get here a number against that specific region or specific name or whatever I need. So now here I have some merged columns also and separate for target and separate for actual. It's not only this column and this column. So how we can extract such type of information, you can develop such drop down in your dashboard and when you select target, and then select sales so it gives you the number then when you select the actual and here you select the profit so it gives you those number so it's very easy for you one solution is we can make another header for these two rows and that should be target sales and here target profit here actual sales and here actual profit but i will explain it in different ways first we will do it like this we are able to create another row and merge the target sales and target profit in separate columns we can develop and that we can do easily with just end formula for example this one and this one so here i have target sales column and there should not be any space now here i would select this one and this one so i will have a target profit column now i will copy both of these and paste them here so i can have target sale, target profit, actual sales, actual profit. We need information from these sales against a specific name from these sales for actual and profit. And then if I select target and then actual uh, sales and profit. So all this information is should be available to me in this one cell. So for this now the simple formula is is equal to we will use the same index formula index now for index the array here what i want i want a number against target sales target profit actual sales actual profit so i need the array from this place from all of this place so i will range all this area from where i need that specific number for index it's enough now comma now i need that same match function so match formula small bracket now first i need a match function for the name of the person so i will select this for the lookup value then comma lookup array is where should i find this name in this column and after comma i need zero exact match close the bracket now a comma I need another match function and that match is for these two target profit target sales target profit actual sales actual profit for these two cells so what I will do I will start another match function. lookup value is what this now as I told you already that for the match you can select only one either you select a column or a row so here I need both these values to be looked up target and profit. So for that the simple thing is click this one then use end and this one. So at the match function would consider it target profit. This end function I have already used in different video tutorial concatenate and end and here also we did this we used end and with the end combined the target sale and target profit and actual sale and actual profit so here for the match the lookup value is both of them because if i select a target and then profit so i should have a number so i can use this it's not that you for this lookup value you can select only one cell if, if your lookup value is in two cells so you can select both of them 
select the first one then use end and then the second one now comma look up array where are these uh, target and profit columns so i have already made a separate column for them to search these words and these column and match them and then after comma a zero and close bracket bracket and end so now you see we have 46 2 5 1 we have selected here this person i need target and sales so this is the target and this is the cell column now in this target cell column here what is this number this number is 115627 and here you see 115627 so i have got the target cell against this number. now if i want the target the actual so i selected actual and say is the same one so actual sales now i come here actual sale is this column now here you see what is this number 57814 and here also we have 57814 now if i go back to the target and select now profit so target profit this is target column and this is profit and here we have this number so what is this number 46251 and here we have 46251 now here if i select actual profit so actual is here and profit is here and here is the number so 34688 34 now if you want this without these header you don't have these header now let's do in the example two without combined headers i can use the same formula but what i have to do i will have to unmerge them and use these words like i will use the same formula the, the above one but here in this last matched function i have selected these two now i will select in the same way the column heads here these column heads this one and then i will use end and then this one and here you see the same number is here also available now if i change this to the target so you see the change if i change it to the sales so you see the change now what i did here i used the end formula and for the match function what i did here i used the first row this row i arranged this row and then used the end and then i this now let's see if we keep the same merged cell and apply this same technique so what it does now here you see when when i am looking for sales so it's giving me the number for target sales it is providing me up data about these columns but if i select here the profit the second one this one so it's giving me error for this column and this column it would give me error and for these two column it would not give me error why because it understand target it is concatenating this target with the sales and this actual with the sales but it's not combining it with the profit and this one also with the profit i have to unmerge them and use these words now you will see it's correct because it is going to use this target with this one and this one and when when it is merged so it is combining this with the first column only and not with the second one and here also it's combining it with the first column only not with the second one so for this either you can use this separate uh, additional column or uh, you can unmerge them so now the third example this same formula we can use when i am selecting this row and this row so here i can use the index function again and i will range this one and then this one and for the index i will use that zero and then again for this match function i will use the same zero and then enter so you can do it in all these ways you want to keep it merged then you should have a hidden row you can make a hidden row for this and just you just need to and then you can use this merge option very easily but you will have to use those separate headers for them so this way you can use this this index and match function in different way i hope you have got my point
and if you have any question please comment thank you so much for watching keep learning like subscribe and share with your friends and family thank you if you visit my channel i have organized all these sessions very carefully you will see these playlists uh, if you want to learn microsoft excel powerpoint access ms word and mail merge then other tricks of the microsoft excel and other softwares other learning tips how to prepare yourself for interviews these other playlist of learning online data collection kobo ms form google form for collecting online data data analytic project management series is there is a playlist for ms excel beginners also windows and all these playlist single playlist are also available so you can uh, benefit from all these sessions which are free of cost and you just open it and watch them and learn and improve your productivity. There are these uh, beautifully designed uh, PowerPoint presentations, how to make these PowerPoint presentation and every video has a detailed step by step tutorial. So visit my channel, subscribe, like and share and comment. Comment is very important for me because if you comment a video so I can improve these videos more whatever question you have so you can ask and uh, this will be good for the channel also and uh, learn and improve your productivity thank you